everyone. Welcome to Kali Biology. Today we're going to be looking at the skin, observing a couple of models, and identifying the structures you're responsible for. First of all, when we think about the skin, we think about two layers and an underlying layer. The top layer of the skin is referred to as the epidermis. Anything above the wavy line is the epidermis. Below the wavy line, all the way to the yellow component, is the dermis. Those are the top layer and bottom layer of the skin, epidermis dermal layer. And then below the skin is what we call the subcutaneous layer. The subcutaneous layer is also known as the hypodermis. That's all of this adipose tissue, that's fat underlying the skin. One very prominent structure we see on the surface of the skin is the hair. Anything above the surface of the skin is referred to as the hair shaft. Anything below the surface of the skin, including the follicle and all of these component parts, is referred to as the root of the hair. Attached to the root of the hair is a muscle. This allows you to pull the hair upright like goosebump type action. That's what we call the erector pili muscle. Erector pili muscle. It's at that angle to the hair itself. Also associated with the hair, we have a gland. Kind of looks like saddlebags off to the side of the gland. It's going to secrete into the root and it's going to go up the shaft of the hair. That's our sebaceous gland. That's oil gland secretes sebum or body oil. We have another type of gland that we're interested in in the skin. It's this coiled structure. It's nice and white and we see a duct or a tube leading all the way up to the surface of the skin. That's a sweat gland and sweat glands secrete sweat in order to dissipate heat as well as get rid of minor trace amounts of metabolic waste. Throughout the dermal layer and the subcutaneous layer, we see blood vessels. Anything red and blue represent the blood vessels associated with the skin that feeds the tissues that get a direct blood supply, the vascular tissue. There are a couple of other structures in here that are nervous tissue structures. We're not going to worry about those for right now, but these are Pacinian and Meissner corpuscles. That's your skin. Okay, here's a second model of the skin. We'll do a quick overview. We're looking once again for the epidermal layer. That's going to be the top layer, the surface of the skin. It's going to be anything above the wavy line. So above those bumps is epidermis. All of this we see as dermal tissue, the dermis of the skin. And then the yellow at the bottom is the subcutaneous layer, once again represented by the nice yellow adipose tissue. We see the shaft of the hair. We see the root of the hair attached to the root. We have a couple of structures. We have sebaceous glands secreting sebum or body oil onto the root of the hair. We have the erector pili muscle that creates the goosebumps. And then we also have a variety of sweat glands. Those are independent, but we recognize the nice duct to the surface and the pore at the very, very surface of the skin. Blood vessels run throughout the dermal and hypodermal area. Anything red and blue represents the capillaries in the blood vessels which feed that vascular tissue. A couple of nervous system elements. Once again, we're not concerned about those, but they are relatively prominent. Don't worry about those for Biology 112. And that's your skin.